You may not know this about me, or you may know it, but I collect Gundam books, specifically modeling books. And oftentimes the best ones, and really the only ones I know of, are all from Asia. Japan, Korea, China, Taiwan, etc. We don't have them in America, and I feel that they're worth buying. And today we're looking at Gun Premier's G Rework 2. The G Rework book from Gun Premier, originally this was mailed to me over a week or two ago, but due to customs and a lot of crazy things going on, I guess the United States Postal Service finally let me get my hands on this, so I've been waiting a while. I would believe that I have exclusivity to show this off on the internet, which won't really amount to a hill of beans because my channel's not that big, but anytime any sort of Gundam related vendors want to support me i am all for it and i'm grateful that gun premiere sent me this book because the first one i bought myself the second one was free lucky me dude seriously they run about 25 dollars if i recall correctly you may feel it's a steep price but uh not that bad in my opinion honestly if you're into gunpla if you're into improving your abilities and learning new techniques and whole new ideas these become essential, and you can call me old school if you will, but there is something about owning these sort of books for editing and such. It's tangible. It's something you can hold in your hands, and the best part is you can look at it while working just in case you get lost, which I find to be very valuable. Yes, if you have a smartphone the size of a tablet these days, or a tablet or a laptop, it may not be as big of a problem for you, but even still, for some reason, just having the books themselves speaks volumes to me. Touching the pages, smelling the new book, the aroma, the feel, being able to really look with your own eyes at these details. Granted, you can't zoom in as far as you can on a computer, but really does it matter? It's almost a collector's item, if you will. In my opinion, I feel these kind of are. You don't have to agree with me. And I find what they offer to be invaluable especially to the budding creator, the new person to Gunpla whose ideas are not that flushed out. This gives you a direction or a path. It shows you what can be done, what can one day be achieved if you really have a passion for the hobby. On top of that, having something laid out in front of you will make it much easier to formulate ideas because this will stimulate and inspire you rather than sitting at your table beating yourself in the head with a scribe tool trying to figure out just what the hell you're going to do next. This here eliminates all of that, and it could be applicable to any kit, any model. This gives you an idea and a taste and a feel for what can be done, what should be done. And the best of all, it may inspire you to come up with whole new techniques. Please forgive any sort of bumps you see in the camera. You know, sometimes things happen. Also, it has step-by-step -step guides on what to do. It is in English and Korean. Thankfully, it's something we can read. Another good part is they give you tool suggestions. They give you suggestions to putty, by the way. I didn't even know that to me a putty existed. I went and bought some because of this book. Because I find most likely to, to me a two-part putty will be so much less toxic than the stuff I've been using for cars. Everything here is laid out in a beautiful full-color book with high-quality paper. This is a nice piece. I will say that it's not as in-depth as the Gundam Pro Factory books, but on the other hand, Gundam Pro Factory books come out once a year. So far, the G Rework book, I think there's been two in the past six months or so. For me, that's a lot. You know, I'm used to sitting and waiting till the G Rework book comes out. This is a great alternative. And I'm not saying get one or the other. If you can afford both, do it. There are tons of books to check out, and I'd say this is one of them. While reading through it, it gave me a ton of ideas. It's like these sort of eureka moments where you look at something so simple and think, why didn't I come up with this? Holy hell. Or this is a good idea. I have to incorporate that. I am honestly awestruck. It also has a spot dedicated to the 2019 Gundam World Building Cup 
open winner. Uh, wait, he's a champion or something from South Korea. The South Koreans always win these things. Usually it's between the Japanese, the South Koreans and Taiwanese. Nobody who speaks English even comes close. They don't even come close. Oh, by the way, what else I find invaluable right here? It'll probably be out of sync. There's this area where they show you color gradients. What colors work with what and where? This is great. Simply because I tend to kind of go with the would this look cool method, which isn't the smartest way to paint your Gunpla, honest to God, because more often than not, you paint it and go, whoa, this didn't look as cool as I thought it would. And then you have to strip and redo it again. This gives you a clear idea of what you can have, what can happen, what goes together, what your paint mixes can be. Fantastic stuff here. God, just looking at this stuff, they, this, these guys really love Exius. Like the last G rework book had a great part on modifying the Gundam Exia perfect grade. Now we have one on the Gundam Exia master grade. And it's really kind of speaking to me. I'm sitting here thinking, oh man, I should do this to the perfect grade. But when will I find time to get to it? Who the hell knows? Uh, please forgive the sort of blurriness. I got my gimbal working, but you know, I'm still using a uh, Luminix G and the Panasonic cameras are fantastic. The only problem they have is the autofocus. It's trash. Well, I've rambled on enough. Um, I would recommend this book if you are interested in learning new skills and techniques for model making and improving your Gundams and customizing them. I enjoy this a lot. It is also written by the famous modeler Ghost. Well, he contributed to it. There's some other people that have some stuff. Check it out, man. There's way too much here. For me to just cram into a few minutes 